Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing this video because you guys asked me how do you find your personal style? And I'm here to share my tips so you can find yours. I feel like even with myself personally, my style journey was very different even five years ago than it is today. So step one is probably the simplest step where you wanna start and that is finding out your style icons. For me, I didn't only look at people, I also looked at brands. So when I think about my personal style, I think about Isabel Moran, I think about Chloe, I think about Chanel, and those kind of encapsulate all the feels that I want to feel when I get dressed. And it doesn't have to be like high-end brands um, or low-end brands, it's whatever feels like, you know, like your vibe. Then I have three people that I look at when I think about my style. And those would be uh, Audrey Hepburn, Jane Birkin, and it would be Jenna Lyons. So these are three women that mix all the styles that I love to mix, and those are kind of the ones that influence the way I dress. So with Audrey Hepburn, it's a lot of feminine, um, with Jane Birkin is very much of that effortless chic and then with Jenna Lyons is just that unexpected mix of colors and patterns and having that a little bit of that masculine um, add to every outfit. Step two is put a label on it. So you did the work, you found the companies that you know make you feel a certain way, you found the people that inspire you style-wise. Now figure out what are kind of the umbrella vibe to their style. So, you know, looking at the people that you chose, is it bohemian? Is it preppy? Is it elegant? Is it masculine? Is it princessy? There are so many different areas that you can choose from. And the great thing about it is that you can also mix and match. So for me, it's, you know, bohemian chic, um, effortless, masculine vibes, princess warrior type of thing. And that's what I go to. And when I get dressed, that's what I want to feel. Find these categories that makes sense for you start you know putting it on your board and you'll be surprised how easy it is to all of a sudden start defining you know your style once you look at the big picture also once you have those keywords it will be so much easier for you to start getting more inspiration and to understand what it is that you're looking for even when you go on any shopping website online just even like tapping those keywords or styles you'll all of a sudden will get much more relevant information and clothing that will fit you uh, rather than you getting bombarded with just like things that are not relevant for you. Step number three is when you start taking action. So what you wanna do is go into your closet. I am by no means want to influence you to go and start buying all these things because listen, your style will change and you'll be surprised how many things we have in our closet that are kind of already giving us like an understanding of what our style is. So I think that editing your closet is a great first step to start, you know, defining your style, narrowing down and making sure that you have a wardrobe that is functional and works for you. Once you go and dive into your wardrobe that you have right now, start being, you know, very um, cutthroat with the clothing that you have. So, you know, things that are, will not serve you and does not align with who you are and who you want to become don't keep it honestly it's we all know how it affects us when we have we have a bunch of junk that we don't use and just lies there and you keep staring at it so try everything on uh, see if you're vibing with it see if it fits you because fit is everything even if you have a piece let's say that doesn't fit you perfectly but you like it and it kind of aligns with the style that you want to achieve go and alter it. That will already kind of give you a whole new piece to add to your wardrobe. Once you have uh, an understanding of how your wardrobe looks like, then you'll be able to see what new pieces you could add into it to make it more complete. Now it's time to start wearing it. So something that I used to do before is, okay, I decided this is my style, I will purchase all these items, and then I would be too scared um, of actually wearing them and start putting myself out there with this style that I decided, you know, is mine now. So I think that you never should rush into it. Take it step by step. First, find the outfits that, you know, you constantly go back to and you can start building on them. So even if you've decided that all of a sudden you love, you know, bringing some masculine vibes into your outfits, bring one item at a time. It doesn't have to be 
all of a sudden like this revamp of everything that you are because sometimes when you do that and you step out of your house you kind of feel like a fraud and uncomfortable so I feel like you really need to build your confidence rather than just go in 180 on your style so you know move into it slowly as you keep going you're gonna start building your confidence to start and adding more items or play around with accessories or play around with colors so this is where it all starts and this is where the journey of like finding your personal style really gets into like full swing don't be scared to you know experiment i think that it's unnatural to think that okay this is my style for the rest of my life i think that you will understand slowly what it is your aesthetic and what's important for you so for me comfort always comes first i can swing between you know vampire diary style to bohemian queen but i need to be comfortable and you know feel like i like I'm still true to myself. So you can play around with styles, uh, especially within the range that you chose for yourself. You can try different things. Don't be too attached to like a specific aesthetic because I mean, just like with anything in life, we change, we evolve, you know, go with the flow. Some of previous aesthetics I was playing around with was the sexy like vibes that did not suit me. I'm talking about, you know, the period where Harvey Legere dresses and like La Bouton, like insane heels were in. I thought that I'm into that, did not work for me. Actually, even when I started YouTube, I feel like I was going for much more younger, like forever 21 type of fits. Um, and I think that I'm slowly moving away from that. So this is just an example of, you know, how you're slowly evolving and kind of finding what it is that works for you. And with the years, you know, it changes. I hope you guys found this super helpful. I can't wait to see your personal style journey. Share it with me on IG and thank you for watching.